This is the Chamber of Raymond on normal and hard. This quest is not a walk up, so you'll need to get it from the quest giver before entering. This is a relatively simple quest to get to. Uh, effectively, you just go straight ahead. It's um, in between the, the two other tomb quests that were done at level 10 and 11. And it's right behind that kind of triple structure thing there that's that's uh, by a shrine that's a shrine. This impressive structure houses the tomb of the Wizard King. You enter the tomb's antechamber. And the quest starts out, we just basically clear this bottom area. Using she knows. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
And there it is. If I went uh, left instead of right, I would have found it right away. Uh, probably best to always go left and right. So there's the seal of the fire. We're not going to use it this quest. We're going to save it for our Reaper run. But uh, I wanted to just uh, get the quest, or get, get the item for our Reaper run and make it as easy as possible. You could also just come on here on casual and do that as well. But normal, you know, normal's going to be super easy for us right now. So I uh, figured while we're doing the normal run, just go in there and get it. All right, clay golems, not the first time those have been encountered. The thing we have to watch for is the healing curse, because we can't heal ourselves until we remove that curse. So there's uh, three towers. Rayun calls out to you. Welcome, traveler. You will learn to call this place home as I And each of these towers has a uh, boss. And we actually only need one of these bosses. Alright, I'm going to get that later. These guys are nailing me. And a lot of these uh, rooms are trapped. This one isn't, but much of them are. And in some rooms you pull a lever, in some rooms you just beat that guy and to open up the door across the way. different there's a few each each uh, each each uh, tower has one of these type of rooms and these are collapsible floors so what I do is I just ignore the archers kind of go off to the around the sides and you can still fall in but your chances are significantly reduced if you do this if you kind of go around the sides jump like this and then this room's trapped so let's check it out get the wizard to, if, if he's by the room all right call the hireling in so he's not getting nailed all right so that's a trap we got some methods here and then um, this tells you who the boss is and it's hot the lion so if you really want to finish fast, that means you could just skip this tower and go to the next one. Because the only one you have to get to complete the quest is the Chamber of Raymond. If you do all three bosses and Raymond last, then you will basically be able to jump down. Or you'll be able to, to, to well, you don't have to do Raymond last, but if you do all three bosses, you'll be able to, and you can see that floor collapsed. Don't know if the hireling was down there, but... Uh, I just called them back. Oop, and I forgot the most important thing, to pull the lever. So we know that that floor is where the collapsing part is. We don't know on this one yet, so I'm just gonna go around the wall. 
And I've got to get this lever. I'm going to go ahead and just do this floor. Um, I'm not in... Uh, I mean, if I get the chest great, it's probably not gonna drop anything on normal, much on normal. So that other one collapsed right in the middle. And I don't know if the hireling's down there or not, but I'm gonna call the hireling back. Archers generally don't follow. All right, just checking to see if there's a trap. Sometimes there's a trap in that corner. I should say a trap box for like a spinning blade trap on the ramp here. So as you check, you know, get used to checking it for Reaper and then uh, not really needed on normal. On normal, you can just run through all the traps. Sometimes you get a trap here like this and this will close and just have to beat an enemy or two. And the archers don't generate dungeon alerts, so you can just ignore them. Trap boxes up for these is almost always, it's almost always some sort of an acid trap and it's almost always here. Or there's no trap. All right, so let's get this guy. And then we're to the um, end area now. And so this is where you'd use the seal. I don't have, I didn't bring the seals for the other quests. I am bound to guard this gate, mortal. Little lag right here. Just wait till this finishes. There we go. Okay. So, if we had my seal in my inventory, it would give me the seal option, and I'm going to do that on Reaper for sure. Uh, these guys are kind of a pain because they uh, sort of act like air elementals here. They knock you around. You can just go and loot these collectibles while the while the thing is in its invincible mode you can't damage it in the mode it's currently in so you just wait till it finishes which it did and then you could you could beat it again not not too hard on normal and hard on a reaper um i'm gonna use a seal and they just automatically go away and then um these the most notable thing about these boss fights is when the boss dies the floor is going to collapse after some time which it's great if um, so I'm gonna kill this guy and back up quick. So you have some time. Call the hireling back because I think the hireling fell. Um, which is great when you if it's the last boss because then you just go down and it takes you right to the treasure room. But uh, in this case we have two more towers, so we're just gonna you know run down. Uh, we have to basically reverse course back down, and yeah, there's no respawns here. Anything we didn't kill will be still there shooting us, but nothing will respawn. And there will be if you open some coffins like I just did, that might spawn a mummy. But at this point, I'm just going to jump, go down as fast as I can. I'm thinking the mummies will probably give up following me at some point.
Gonna park my hairling there, and this is another one of these sort of uh, collapsible floor things we have to get by. If you set off the um, the wall trap there. So Raymond, so this is the boss, so this will end the quest, and then we'll have to decide do we want to run the next path for the uh, chest, and I think I will since um, it's only one more tower, and uh, just to make sure you at least see it once. Okay, there's that classical floor, and if you kind of run along the edges, you're less likely to, uh, less likely to, um, for the floor to collapse, and also less likely to fall down because some of those edge spaces are more safe than other, you know, more safe than the middle. All right, so there's definitely a spinning trap here. And let's see. Usually I think I've seen them here a lot, but it's not probably not here this time because I'm not getting a spot. And this is kind of the annoying thing is, there it is. I got the spot, and then the spot went away. Just try to disable traps, and the you know, archers just keep on going. And there's a top trap, too. This guy. Let's see if I can find the trap box. Yeah, let me see if it's I'm not spotting it or if um, it could be just not disarmable or I just haven't found the spot yet. So I've got my search item and my search item should be pretty much no fail everywhere, but my spot may not, might not be. All right, no box. So I think that's just one of those traps is just always there or the trap box was on the bottom and I didn't didn't check for it. Okay, this wall here 
it could be a chest, it could be a golem. The way you tell is if you just hit Q. If you don't see a chest, it's just all you're asking for is a fight by opening that door. If it's a chest, it's usually just a free chest. All right, so two of the three, some of the two, I think two of the towers have this, where it's just like the other one, except it's a single uh, collapsible floor that you can, you just have to pull a lever. And so sometimes you have to kill these archers to be able to pull that lever. And again, same thing, you just want to kind of go around the sides. Mummies here. Possible acid trap, that sort of stair stairwell means possible acid trap. And I spotted it, so it's like a definite acid trap. And if the archers are harassing you too much and you can't get the trap, then just, uh, you know, you can time it. Generally, I don't worry too much about the trap bonus in here because even on Reaper, because there's so many towers, uh, and um, a lot of times uh, there's three towers and you may only need one of them. So let's see if I have any kind of a trap bonus. So I've done five, uh, eight traps. I got a 20% bonus, so that's working out pretty good. Alright, and this is the guy, we'll see the option for the seal here because I pulled this, this guy's seal is the one for this quest. I'm not going to use it, but you'll see the option. And so you, you can either challenge him or hold up the seal. Um, but we're going to challenge him because we don't want to waste that seal on normal. We want to use that for Reaper mode. Wow, that's a, uh, I mean, Insightful Repair Amp's not the best of items, but it's a pretty nice item. Be better if it had something other than Insightful Repair Amp. This is Raymond, and I normally he's not so bad. On uh, Reaper, he'll have some ghosts with him. Alright, and this floor does not collapse. The Wizard King's floor does not collapse. Instead, you get this. This is how you end the quest. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And scrolls and place them into your pack. And I'm I'm gonna uh, even though we were finished with the quest, I'm gonna go ahead and do the next tower, just so you can see the uh, treasure room. It's pretty cool, and uh, chance for some named items. And especially if you want to play Artifice Pfizer, which I'd like to play sometime soon, uh, then you'll get a named rune arm that's one of the best in the game. It um, it has uh, a disruption proc which basically gives you your weapon a chance to kill undead Let's see if I see I'm just curious if I see a spot down here nope so I'm thinking that's some of these traps might be undisarmable and I think it I think my spot skill should be good enough to find traps in here especially on normal So the floors don't collapse here on this side, but the, uh, tra the traps are still here, the ambushes. And getting rid of that curse, healing curse right away. And this is the third tower, and so that south side uh, is also has the collapsing floors on it. And 
this is kind of unique to this one spot here where you have a tower where you, a thing where you're going in full lever. And the great thing about uh, having the you know other, someone other than Raymond in the last when you're going for the chest as the last boss is you just drop right down to the treasure room. If it's Raymond, you have to kind of go back and and clear, run to the bottom and then clear that bottom out if you haven't already done that. So if you're going for the chest, the ideal is that you'd have uh, kind of Raymond first or second, like we, like like was in this case. All right, so this is a spinning trap. And you see the trap box is right here. Here's the um, collapsing floor trap, single one, which is usually the pull lever to go to the final area. And the hireling's pretty good at making that floor collapse.
beginning, Mohawk Shell Path. And there's no seal option there because I don't have it in my inventory. While he's doing his pair elemental thing, I'm going to get all these collectibles. He's invincible in that mode, and you can see you can hit him, but. Oh, there, now he's just coming out of invincible mode. Alright. Hand me the jackal. The jackal of Menectoran stares at you with lightless eyes. And I'll stand on here so you can see the floor collapsing. What it does, and so basically, uh, it's our last tower, so we're just going to jump down. It's kind of a long way down, and we want to kind of feather fall towards the middle. So we'd ideally want to go here, get as little, little aggro as possible. And there's an intelligence rune on there. We, I'm assuming we're going to be fine for the intelligence rune. Since we have, uh, we're not an intelligence, you know, as our main stat, but we have it as a pretty good secondary stat. And uh, now that we've done all the bosses, this room is open. And I love getting experience for finding chests. That's my favorite thing in this game. And there's three chests. They should all have a very, very small chance for dropping a named item. The best of which is a rune arm that's very uh, unbound. You could, you know, you could sell it if you wish or trade it. And I'm going to pause while I go to the end reward. Nothing too interesting. Sturdy eight. You know, it's, so I'm just going to grab something to sell to a vendor. Take the quest again. And then he gives us a... We get it from the quest, but I, don't, I, I think we get a different version when we talk to him because we can't actually talk to him. So I'm going to go over here and uh, talk to this Afrid up here. So we, you know, get some flagging for this raid. So we've already given him the bowl from Offering of Blood. So you see, I believe I have found an object that you seek and we will give him the Cursed Phylactery. And now when we say, I believe I found all that's left is the orb, and that's going to come from Chains of Flame, which is the next quest. So I'm going to pause it while I make my way to the quest. And going back into the Chamber of Raymond on Hard. And on this one, I'm going to kind of do the quick, quickest path to completion as opposed to going for the chests. Uh, may not necessarily be quick because we don't know what tower he's in, but um, I'm going to go and if if I don't find him in a tower, I'm going to go to the next tower instead of finishing all the way up. Imposing shadows. <laughs> Hurry, for the wizard king. 
thing awaits. Rayum calls out to you. Welcome, traveler. You will learn to call this place home as I <laughs> And I think uh, if you really want to go fast, you just skip the traps. So I'm going to do that too. We should be, we should have no problem in the traps. And so this, this floor can still collapse on me. It's just a lot less likely to by going to the edges as I'm doing. Okay, there's a trap here. I want to get that. Hmm. Eternal wizard, eh? Get him, I guess. See who it is. Hand, hand me the jackal. So we we uh, are going to go right for Raymond. So we're going to skip that one. It's kind of random. I mean, if we got lucky, that would be Raymond right there. But since we're not interested in the chest, we're just going to skip this guy and go right back down. Head to the next tower. And if you have a good enough uh, listen skill, you'll get a message before the floor falls out. I'm just going to run through these traps.
my hireling in place so he doesn't uh, make this blow this uh, floor up. All right, so we can get by that. Jump right over that little crack there. Put my hireling in here. And half is a lion, so unfortunately we're not really getting good luck on the on the draws there. And so now that the floor is collapsed, there's not going to be any further collapsing, so we can just ignore that. Just run by. And then this one we do have to worry about it, so I'm gonna, gonna go to the edge here and try to avoid avoid it. So we're gonna go back down. So by process of elimination, he has to be in the third tower. But since we're not going for the chest, we did at least save the time of having to go up the next few levels and beating the bosses. You know, it was a little too far off the edge there, made the floor collapse, but it wasn't too bad. So, usually you just try to recover in that situation. And so again, I can pull the lever here without a, without having to worry about the trap damage. So I'm just gonna do that. Of course, the archers are disrupting, disrupting me. Must be a champion archer or something. Try one more time. Almost got it. Let's see if I can get an angle here. There we go. So I got an angle. And I don't need to chest, uh, check this, but, you know, because we know it's him, but I'll just uh, do it anyways.
have this final area. And again, you have to kind of worry about the archers harassing you. Ambush. Oh, my hireling might have got stuck in the ambush. Let's bring her up. And again, I'm just running through these traps. I generally don't, but I just wanted to show you you're going for a quick completion, there's you know a lot of things you could do. You're not gonna get a trap bonus anyways, and you're not gonna take much damage from the trap, so the hireling might die, but uh, let's see if I can get this chest open with these with all these archers. And again, I have the seal in the bank. Blocks your path. Your way forward is forbidden. So that second tower always has the Afrit, and then the first and third towers always have the Dijen. But the location of the bosses are random. Scrolls and place them into your path. Yeah, I'm going to pause it while I go to get my end reward. Let's see. Well, we got a couple of belts. Bullying, strength, and insight. Which I'm, I'm not really trying to get threat generation. And when so long it's it's somewhat useful because it helps to get your uh, get your hireling out of trouble so I'm just gonna grab something and uh, sell it to the bank or sell it to the uh, vendor take the quest again for Reaper mode next level and that is a chamber of Raymond Ram on normal and hard 